Last night, the Pelicans got a clutch win against the Thunder, thanks in large part to this tough bucket from Brandon Ingram with just under a minute to go. But a few days ago, the Pelicans got some bad news when general manager David Griffin announced that Zion Williamson had re-aggravated his hamstring strain that had kept him out since January 2nd and would miss, quote, additional weeks after the All-Star break. So I wanted to take a look at just how much success the Pelicans have had with and without Zion and Ingram. So first off, the Pelicans overall right now are 30 and 28 on the season, just over 500 in seventh in the West. But in the 12 games that Zion and Ingram both played, they went seven and five, a 58% winning percentage. Then earlier in the season, when Ingram was injured and they were just playing with Zion, the Pelicans were still solid, 10 and seven, nearly a 59% winning percentage. But this is where things start to go downhill. With Ingram on the court and no Zion, the Pelicans are just five and six, under 500. And even worse, with Zion and Ingram off the court, the Pelicans are eight and 10 with a 44% winning percentage. Then let's look at a few more variations. With only one of either Zion or Ingram, the Pelicans are 15 and 13, a 53.6 winning percentage. When Zion is playing overall, regardless of whether Ingram is on the court, the Pelicans are 17 and 12, or a 58.6% winning percentage. And then when Ingram plays overall, regardless of Zion's status, the Pels are 12 and 11, a 52% winning percentage. So clearly, there is a key ingredient for the Pelicans this season, Zion Williamson. Despite being at their worst without either Zion or Ingram, the Pelicans are still clearly much better when Zion plays, regardless of Ingram's status. In fact, the Pelicans' best winning percentage all season was when Zion was on the court without Ingram. Take from that what you will.